I have written my text here and now I will separate it to create my visual. Let's say let's use a more impactful font so I will use impact for this one. Nice bold font. So I want I will create to be big. So now cool typography one word. So command X to cut, command V. Visuals one word or perhaps yes. Command V Command X Command V. Now let's create outline this command shift O. View hide rulers, I want them show rulers. I have uh, my command, my smart guides enabled, command U. And now, let's create our beautiful typography. I want to create a text block. So by pressing Shift, I will scale this. visuals or perhaps I can do this I don't have to be really exact here and I think this is pretty okay now, if I remove my guides, I see that this gap here is a little bit strange. So I could just go, just eyeball this and scale it a little bit to correct this unusual antiform. Let's say perhaps this a little bit more. I think this is okay. Now let's add little more interesting things. Let's say create cool typography. This is one meaning, so I could just separate this a little bit with a line to give a little more interest. Now let's say this is our visual. Now let's take our typography visual and place it on a wall and give it a texture. So I have my wall here in Photoshop. I go again to my Illustrator. I copy my text and paste it here. I, I scale it while pressing Shift to uniformly scale it. And let's say I want my typography to look like a painted on the wall. So let's say this here. I will hide this for now. I will save it. Wall desktop, save. Okay. I will hide this layer. Press Command U, desaturate this, and then Command Shift S to save this as wall map. And you you will see why we want this. Now I will close this. And I will reopen my wall. Now, I will go to my type layer, select, go to filter, distort, displace, and leave these changes 10, 10 as they have here. OK. And now I'll have to change to select a map. And I will select my wall map. As you can see, my text has now uh, tried to follow the texture of the wall. So, to give it a more realistic feel, 
I will click on my type layer and give it a linear burn. I will lock it and give it a color of the background. Now as you can see this is too hard. I will give it a color like that, let's say, and I fill it command backspace with the background color. Perhaps I can do it a little more dark. Yeah, I think this is okay. And now we have an interesting te texture to our text. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. You can find a PSD file in the description of the video.